healthy playing list after Saturday night? Well, we think so. Um, Mondays always scare me a little bit, but uh, but at this point in time, we seem to be going okay. So, um, yeah, it's always nice and handy. We'll, we'll still monitor to see how um, you know guys like Brent Maloney and, and Blackie are for the week. So it's probably a little bit too early in the week to make a call on those two at this point in time. So clearly they're going to have to train on, on Wednesday to have a good show at it. Okay. Uh, you've won three out of your last four, boss. Yeah, uh, yep. the boys start to play the way you want and you'll hope for them to play. Well, we, certainly they have um, <clears throat> much clearer in their in minds when you when you start to get a few results going your way and um, they become a little bit more receptive to things. You know, when you're under the pump all the time, it's... Yeah, you always feel like you're a little bit under pressure to be able to execute what you're after, but um, certainly we're getting closer and closer to that. Um, the consistency part is still something, if you said, as an improvement part for us. We'd, you know, we've put a hell of a focus on our starts and it's um, still something we've not got 100% right. You know, the last three or four minutes of the quarter they got away from us when we put ourselves in a pretty good position. Um, so there's still little things in our games that are... You know we've got to improve on, but certainly who could question how we're finishing? Um, you know the second halves have been very good for us, and as I mentioned on the night, they should be getting a lot of confidence in their legs now and in each other um, about being able to finish off the games really strong. Brad Scott, uh, after the game the other night, he called you a, a momentum side, yeah. which is pretty handy if you're coming back from uh, several goals down as you were against North and against Geelong. But is yeah. that something that you'd actually like to change? Uh, that we get momentum. No, I'm quite happy to keep proceeding to get yeah. that. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't change that for a minute. But certainly, from our perspective, uh, you know, being able to build our wins is something that you ultimately want. You know, we. You know, we don't want to be. Uh, you know, we don't want to be down early as much as we're. You know, it'd be nice to be up by a bit the first quarter, but certainly not something that we're relying on. It's a. You know, we're a side that has to recognise that we have to build our wins and. Um, you know, we're probably just putting ourselves in a position where we have to chase, chase a lot. So uh, that's something that, you know, can put a bit of strain on you from time to time. But at the moment, it's working for us um, in terms of the end result. But certainly, it's not something that we want to do weekly, that's for sure. You'd like to have that momentum in the first quarter as much as that. It would be nice in the first quarter to be getting our seven goals as opposed to the last. But, yeah, at the moment, we're trying to get the fans back. So we're sort of just, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably just lean towards it a little bit, making it exciting at the end. But, um no, we would like to be uh, making some a bit more stronger headway than what we are at the moment early in games. It says a lot about their character though, doesn't it? I suppose the team's character that they've, that's, they've done it a couple of times. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, and you know, when, you, when you've... when um, oh, you I thought generally, uh, you know, across the night, uh, the first half we played some okay footy. Uh, just There was three or four minute patches where uh, they were getting multiple goals scored against us and there was a few little areas that we needed to tidy up. But once that was... Once that was tidied up, we started to get some ascendancy going the other way and the scoreboard started to tick over for us. So they had incredible accuracy uh, very early on. Um, so, uh, but yeah, to be able to turn that around and finish out. And as I said, you know, the confidence the guys should be getting in being able to finish out games now is, uh, you know, should be unquestioned. So it's just uh, making sure we set it up right at the start. You didn't want to touch on finals and afterwards? So it's sort of a couple of days I, I, later, I don't know how you can possibly justify even remotely thinking about it, talking about it, even entertaining the idea. So we've had our first back back to win um, this year. So to uh, suggest that um, talking about that is just a, a little bit ahead uh, would be a dramatic understatement. Do you believe you're a top eight team though in terms of you, you're beating quality teams now? Do you, do you believe I think we'll be a top eight so we're in the top eight. Every player though likes to have a goal and everyone likes to make the finals. So yeah. how do, these guys see the running you've got, they see the teams are very beatable. Yeah. Surely you know these guys might be the back of their mind thinking about it. Do you address it or tell them not to think about it? How are you addressing it? Oh they can they can uh, cast their mind over it if they like. Um, but what I hope they get more excitement out of is the fact that we've you know we've started to increase our pressure, we've started to increase our, our work around the ball and and guys are taking real accountability for the performances of the team. So that's what I hope that guys are getting excited about and they enjoy um, playing together as a group. Um, if we can generate that excitement on a, on a weekly basis and at training and, and want to get to work, well, those, those things might be viable, but uh, certainly are not viable and, until you have a, an absolute appetite to be able to do that week after week. And we haven't proven that yet, so that's still something that um, you know, we've got to make sure we get done. Rossi, you were talking before about getting that consistency week to week. Is that one of the major factors you'll be pushing then 
if they get the consistency right, results will come and you can continue this moment. Absolutely. Well, our training will we'll, we'll train really hard this week. Um, that's been a, a, something that has uh, been a, a key focus of ours for the entire season. But but certainly it's been one of the catalysts for us, or a very important marker for us coming into into our week. So um, yeah, boys, make sure they bring the mouth guard so we can you know have another tough session because it's uh, certainly getting them in the right mindset at the moment.